Thank you, Sammy, for um, talk about open source in Hong Kong. Uh, I will take over and talk about open data in Hong Kong. Okay, so the basis for open data is um, for free and open source software, there's open source license so that um, if you wonder whether we can, you can really use the source code, you go in the source code, usually they come with a, an open source license and you will see how the original copyright owner of the source code allow you to do. And so this concept can be applied to other works such as uh, images, videos, and so on. And so Creative Commons licenses were created. And then Creative Commons licenses were created to simplify sharing and people just um, can use the common um, Creative Commons licenses and then put it on their work. And other people, when they can see that, ah, oh, this work is released under Creative Commons, they can use it um, within the bounds and without the fear of uh, will the copyright owner sue me later on? And so uh, we can stimulate creativity. And a Creative Commons start uh, in about 2002. And now um, in the 2019 report, it's estimated to have about 2 billion Creative Commons license work online. And then, um, for example, the Australian government um, start to adopt the Creative Commons license to release um, the public sector information. Um, okay, and um, and the Hong Kong government they um, they also start to release um, the public sector information um, online in 2011 and also there is a, an app com competition also was conducted. Okay, so um, this is the press release. Um, it's very easy to find if you use search. And at the bottom, we can see some photos. Okay, so here's um, Dr. Daniel Lai, the, um, um, the CIO of government by then and then, um, is um, some winner of the app um, competition. And then uh, fast forward to now, the, um, the um, PSI website got a major upgrade in about 2019. It's now the, called data.gov.hk. There's about um, 4,000 data set opened. And then, um, and then um, it's not just those data set. Um, that's also the annual data plan for um, many different uh, government departments to pledge to release more data in the future. And so uh, I think in the conference, we are going to hear about more spatial data. And also we're going to hear from the public transport operator that they are going to release uh, some open data. And then um, for the data.gov.hong Kong um, website for the terms and condition is very similar to the Creative Commons attribution um, license and anyone can use the data free of charge. Um, when you attribute that, the data come from the Hong Kong government website and it also allows for commercial purposes and it's more permissive than the rest of the government website. And, uh, but this is, there's a problem of mixing the government um, open data with other open data that's released under Creative Commons. As Creative Commons, as I mentioned, got a lot of works online. So what happens when they were mixed together? Technically, it's not permitted. Okay, but uh, practically, I wonder, I, I wonder whether the Hong Kong government or other government would care. But I think we can improve in that. So for, uh, for example, the Taiwan government, they put in a one directional um, compatibility. So when anyone who used the open data from the Taiwan website 
and they comply with the Creative Commons attribution license, it will automatically also satisfy the condition of the terms and condition on the data.gov.taiwan. And that's how it can be done in just um, one clause, okay? And also, uh, we have um, we have to ensure that we have uh, information and data available to the public. And so, um, for the Law Reform Commission of Hong Kong, um, the consultation paper on archive law is already written in 2018, December. And of course, uh, we all understand that um, we have difficult year starting in 2019 and then we have pandemic so on, but I think things will stabilize and I really hope that the government will put forward the archive bill soon in let's go. Okay, so this is the this is the consultation paper. Again, it's very easy to, to be found online. So for conclusion, I think the Hong Kong government did well in providing open data. Uh, and I have three recommendations. Uh, I would like the government to apply the terms and condition and data.gov to Hong Kong to other parts of the government website. Also make um, the open data um, released by the Hong Kong government compatible with a Creative Commons license and also to uh, put forward um, the archive bill in Let's Go so that we know that we have a stable source of data. I'm Dr. Higgins So, the public lead of Creative Commons Hong Kong and president of Hong Kong Creative Open Technology Association. And I would like to invite you to uh, visit those two websites. Thank you.